Hi, good day. In this video, we will be developing a React Native that will integrate the API that we have created from the previous video. So the prerequisite of this lesson is the coding nighter for application with the crude operations create or create, read, update, and delete with one database table and the code igniter for API. So if you haven't finished uh, code igniter for crude with one table and code igniter for API, please watch it first since we will be using the API from that series. So at the end of this lesson, the students are expected to integrate the RESTful API on their React Native application. So first, we will create a new React Native project. To do so, we will open the terminal, change our change it to our project directory, then type in expo init, the project name, template, and the template will be React Native Elements. So here's the link for the template. So let's do so. So here's the reactnativeelements.com. Click get started. And for the installation, we have the Expo CLI, React Native CLI, and React JS. So we will select Expo CLI. So you can do that. You can implement React Native Elements on a new project, or you can do so on an existing Expo project. Okay, let's now open the terminal. Then change to Documents. Post this part. Okay, continue here. Okay, then let's type in expo init. Our project name will be itech222 and our template will be rneui slash template. Then let's wait for the download and installation to finish. Once the installation is finished, let's change our directory and open the project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, then let's run Expo Update so that we will have the updated version of Expo. First, open Terminal in Visual Studio Code and type in Expo update. Then press Y.
Okay, then let's in install the packages. Type in npm install. Next, let's try to run the project. Type in npm start. And open in iOS simulator. Our new React Native project is now working perfectly. Then we will now install React Navigation. You can refer to the React Navigation documentation. So here, we are inside reactnavigation.org. Click Read Docs. First, we will install the React, Na uh, React Navigation Native. But to do so, let's first terminate the node server by pressing control C then paste then we also need the react navigation drawer and lastly the react native reanimated so you can refer uh, in npmjs.com then let's copy this one paste inside our terminal then click check out the installation section so after insta installing react native reanimated we have to add we have to open first babel.config.js and re add react native reanimated uh, plugin it also says here in the caution that re reanimated plugin has to be listed last so let's do so open babel config.js and change this to plugins and the plugin will be react native reanimated slash plugin save and it also says here that after adding react Na native reanimated plugin we have to reset the cache copy paste okay now we will create the views for the react navigation first in the root folder we'll create a source folder then inside the source folder we'll create a views folder so right click new folder source new folder views then inside the views folder, we will create a file named homescreen.js. Right click, new file, homescreen.js. So let's go back to the React Navigation documentation and click moving between screens. So here we have a home screen. Let's copy that one, paste it here, and let's export this as the default function and we'll uh, change this to go to students then in app.js or app.typescript you can also rename this or change this to typescript or javascript then we will wait okay let's click hello react navigation we will copy these imports Just paste it below uh, here we will first use the uh, the components from the react native library or you can also use the components oh this is just my component you can ignore that okay no navigation container and we also need the drawer we'll name this we'll call create drawer navigator okay then 
Uh, from the example, uh, the home screen is declared here, but we have created a new file for the home screen. So let's import the home screen. Import home screen. Okay, then let's create a constant drawer. So right here, constant drawer is equal to a drawer navigator. Okay, then let's copy this. Yep, let's copy this one. Paste it here. And we will change instead of stack navigator, we'll use drawer navigator, then drawer screen, we have home screen, okay, let's test this, let's start the project npm start. that enable to resolve okay let's remove react native stack then reload and there is also an error and a warning here so copy this one we have a mismatch um, reanimated version so terminate the node server and copy this one and paste in your terminal Then let's start again. Okay, why did that crash? comment this first and display the component okay let's try it again still crashing okay let's comment this so that we will know which one's causing the problem okay that's working Let's try to uncomment this, reload. Okay, something here is. Okay, let's try that one. Okay, uncomment your app navigation native. Uncomment the drawer. So the drawer is causing a problem. So Let's just use the, uh, the native stack instead of the drawer. So copy this one and paste here. But we have to install the native stack. Let's go back to getting started. Okay, let's copy this one. Paste it here. We also need the native stack. Here it is, copy, paste. And try to run the project. Okay, 
Okay, then let's now uncomment this. But uh, return. Uh, this will return the navigation container. Let's remove the component. Save, reload. Oh, we forgot to uh, remove this one since we'll be using stack navigator. And it now has a title, home screen, and a button, go to students. So now let's now remove the text, save. But if you cl uh, click this button, it will not navigate to students since we, ha we don't have a student screen yet. So inside the views folder, let's create a new file named student, oh sorry student screen dot js uh, let's just copy this one and paste it here and this one will be go back home and navigate to what did we name? we named it as home and this one will be student screen save let's reload Oh, we have we forgot we have not yet add we have not yet included student screen here okay let's import student screen then add the student screen let's name it students and the compo component will be student screen let's double check we're calling students here we're calling home the load Go to students, go back home. So the navigation, React navigation is working perfectly. But instead of using the drawer, we use the navigation container. Okay, but let's uh, look for the drawer. Since navigation okay let's try to add the drawer again here in app.js paste save and reload or let's just reopen Let's just add it, add the drawer later. Okay, then now have students. And we should have a drawer, but it's causing a problem, and let's add the drawer later. Then we now have to open the student screen and we will use a view and a flat list from React Native li Library and list item and avatar from React Native Elements UI. Okay, open student screen, import, we have a view, let's add the flat list, then let's import uh, list item and avatar save <laughs> okay here let's first declare a sample data set inside the default function but we'll change this later into the actual data we will just use this to design the view so here let's create a constant stood info Okay. We have a student number. Then a first name, middle name, last name, email, date 
of birth. So this is the exact result from the API. Let's add another one. Let's just copy this one, paste here. Okay, so that's it. Let's reload. Check if there's an error. Okay, next is... Inside the return the return function of the student that screen should be so we have a flat list, a view, a list item, an avatar, and the content. So you can also refer from the React Native elements. So the, the, these are the components from the React Native elements. So we have an avatar. also have a list item so here's the list item we have an accordion a button group checkbox chevron content input subtitle swipeable title etc okay let's now uh, code Let's remove this one or let's retain that and add a flat list here. This will have a flat list and inside the flat list we have okay, you can also refer to the React Native Library. So here, let's look for the flat list. Okay, here's an example of flat list. Okay. We have the list header components.
so in the flat list let's uh, add the list header components then we will have here a view then inside the view we will have a button then okay, we're not gonna use the button first we will have map the student info uh, from this constant variable so student info dot map li then an arrow function then list item inside the list item we have an avatar we'll just uh, display a random avatar avatar it's a rounded avatar and the source will be we will just random randomize an avatar from an i dot per avatar the cc the size will be 300 should be uh, a URI save okay, let's take a look no, it doesn't have a unique key yet so in the list item let's have a unique key save Let's add a style for the view. So style um, padding vertical. Let's add eight. Okay, then let's also set the container style. We have margin horizontal margin at sixteen the vertical margin let's set to 8 then the border radius set to 8 first okay then what else we have list item an avatar let's also have a list item content content inside the content let's add the title okay let's add some style style color will be black and oh, it should be a string font width to bold and the value will be the uh, first name concatenate the middle name and concatenate the last name save okay but it's not showing anything okay let's uh, proceed first have a style block flat list view Okay, let's remove this view. Okay, let's remove this first. So the view is uh, causing a problem. But the avatar is not yet displayed. Okay, let's check from the documentation. 
native elements we have an avatar import avatar we have imported avatar well, let's try to add a size didn't display maybe it should be source and it's already changed from <laughs> it should actually be source so if we remove the size it's okay or you can set a size let's make this 35 or 50 all okay, right then we add we already have a title let's add a subtitle just copy that one change this to subtitle and the value will be the uh, the sex so let's add a ternary operator Let's add, let's also add the student number. Student number, then concatenate. So if, if is male is equal to 1, then the value will be male. Otherwise, it will be female. Okay, let's add a space. Okay, then subtitle, another subtitle for the... Uh, date of birth let's change this to date of birth the content and let's also add a chevron list item dot chevron so if so that if this is clicked it will display the information of the selected student or the font weight from the subtitles are not set to bold let's remove that it's only set for the title Okay, so far so good and the data should now come from the API so we will comment the uh, the student info that we have created earlier let's comment this okay, that's okay it will uh, have an error first since we have removed student info so first we have to import the use state and use effect from the react library so here we import use effect but I think it's already imported here. So let's now declare a constant function. Constant stood info. The setter the getter method and the setter method will be set stood info. And use state. And that's important. and use effect okay then we will call the fetch API let's now create a function to fetch the data from our API so let's create a function here 
let's name it constant get student info and call the fetch method but it's not automatically setting the our the U URL for the API is uh, this one doesn't have an index where's the API we have a student so let's try student okay it's working so this is the URI localhost I take 222 API and student then the result uh, the method will be get method okay then the promise uh, the result will be store converted into a JSON file and let's use proper indenture then let's process the result so let's console.log first result save and let's clear the terminal okay let's reload click go to students but it did not uh, we did not call the uh, get student function so let's add an effect use effect use effect then it is an asynchronous call and call the get student info function save reload As you can see, we are now getting the data from the API, but we only need uh, this uh, data JSON. So result that data. See, uh, let's try it first. Save. So here's now the result. So the student infos are stored in the student info array. So the result that data dot student underscore info save okay so here's now the data from the api then instead of just uh, printing the result in the console we'll call the setter method so set uh, this data will be stored in the std info array save on. as you can see we now display the three student records so here let's add another student record add student go back home go to students so we now have four student records So that's it for the part one of the React Native UI with API integration.